And we back. Cool. My bad. My life rose. We back just doing a QA. and a We was talking about meat and watermelon and blood flow and circulation. The melon looks good. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. You're dealing with seizures? Hold on. Epilepsy and seizures, somebody asked. If you're just joining my live here on the main page, I just cut off because it froze. So I just hop back on. Somebody says epilepsy and, and seizures. If you're dealing with epilepsy and seizures, you know what you would do? You know what you would do? I'll make it real, real, real easy for you. You would go to the epilepsy and seizures module in the university. What up? What questions y'all got? I just hopped back on because my live froze. I was already live for like 30 minutes. You're dealing with arthritis. I make this stuff super easy for y'all. If y'all just joining, I ain't been live in like two days because I had my page all flagged and everything again. That's why I couldn't do anything on Instagram. What was that question? Um, what was the question you just asked? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, somebody says, what do I do about arthritis? If you're dealing with arthritis, gout, any inflammation in the body, real easy. Well, first, stop eating acid foods, stop eating inflammatory foods. But what you would do is you would simply go to the arthritis, gout, inflammation protocol in the university. You would go to that module. If you're new to my page or a new supporter, I know I've been getting a lot of followers, supporters over the past week. A lot of y'all sharing my stuff. My Holistic Health University is $29.99 per month, a dollar per day. Take you from beginner to expert on holistic health. Detailed protocol for every single illness and disease that the doctors told you were stuck with. If you're new to my page, I posted brand new dramatic testimonials every single day for three years straight. I never miss a day to my Instagram story. Brand new ones. Yes, yeah, so you would just go there. That's all. Um, but yeah, you get to talk to me weekly, video consultations weekly. Talk to me in the Telegram group. Talk to me personally. Now I'm a virtual assistant to me every single day. I'm in there answering questions throughout the day. You get my $70 Ultimate Detox Bundle for free with the university also. Um, what else? 20 plus hours worth of content. Taking you from beginner expert on holistic health. Module after module after module. And I also teach you 10 different streams of income in case you care to learn that. I teach you Airbnb, all that. I literally just landed back from Dominican Republic buying two new Airbnb properties yesterday. Y'all, If y'all watch... A story yesterday, I was giving y'all some updates. Uh, autoimmune, I already answered that. The autoimmune disease protocol is in my university also. If you're dealing with that, y'all can message me questions, but most of the questions y'all message me and comment. I put my university together because they kept banning my page for giving y'all this free game. Every time I made super detailed videos giving you measurements and things like that, the video gets removed on TikTok, Instagram, my backup Instagram. If you go follow my backup Instagram right now, and you click follow, it says, are you sure you want to follow this page? They constantly shared false information, right? They had my live band on TikTok for the last four days. Uh, they had my main page messed up for the last two days, flagging me, everything I press is uh, your page is limited to protect our community. Uh, so that's why I created my own university on my own platform where I can't be banned, can't be censored, and I can give you all these detailed protocols and help y'all out and obviously it takes a lot of my time energy and effort years and years and years of studying which required time energy effort and money uh webinars seminars different mentors spent over 170,000 on mentors alone just this year to obtain all this knowledge that i give you for 29.99 per month a dollar per day to change your life and change your wealth if you care to check out those models stay there stay there we primarily focus on holistic health because apparently people don't like money um, which is weird, but I thought, like I always say, I figured, I figured all y'all got to be tired of watching your favorite holistic healers and herbalists on social media drive around in Lambos and become millionaires in front of your face while you just purchase all their products, and then none of them circle back and tell you how to make money. They just get rich, help you out with some herbs, which is great, but you should want money too, right? So I teach it all. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna charge you $29.99. I'm gonna heal, pardon me, I don't use the word heal on social media. I'm gonna assist you in preventing the issue that's been in your body for decades and get you right and get you off those pills and have your doctor astonished. 
for a dollar per day, $29.99 per month. I'm gonna mentor you. You're gonna to speak to me weekly on video calls, which mind you, normally when you pay 10, 20, 30, 50,000 to mentors like I do, you don't get weekly video calls with them. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right, so you get that with me. You get to speak to me daily in the Telegram group, which you don't get with 10,000 plus dollar mentorship programs. That's a fact, because I've invested in many this year alone. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It's never been done before. And I teach you 10 different streams of income. It's crazy. Links in the bio, Holistic Health University. It's healthandfinanceuniversity.com. You taught me things I didn't know. You know why I teach y'all things I y'all didn't know? Because I put a lot of my time, energy, effort to study, invested hundreds of thousands of dollars to obtain this information, and now y'all think I'm smart. But anybody who thinks smart, it's just because they studied someone else who was smarter and they invested their time, energy, and money into people who have programs which can make them smarter. You know that? But let's be clear. No one's ever done what I've done. No one's ever done this. All this for a buck a day has never been done. That's a fact. Y'all see the testimonials. Y'all see the testimonials. Let me see. All right, comment your question again if I missed it. Comment your question again if I missed it. Yeah, that's an example of what the, what the modules look like on the main page and back of the page. That's just a sample. There's way more. And when you click each tab, there's a drop down. But yeah, you click that. So if you're dealing with diabetes, you go to diabetes. Click that and you'll see the diabetes protocol. Type 1, type 2. Her herpes, HSV, HSV1, HSV2. You go to that protocol. And I post the testimonials. Go to my highlights tab on my profile. And look through thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of testimonials. How does your detox work? I've... Uh, Teach you everything you need to know about detoxing. And then you follow it. I don't know how else to answer that question. I don't know how else to answer that question. Yeah, you can chew the seeds. If it ain't got seeds, you don't need. Oh yeah, you can use uh, black walnut to cleanse parasites in your intestinal system, but that alone ain't gonna. That's a that's the thing like with social media herbalists and healers and everybody wants a viral video. Did you know there's a banned herb called Patikibaba from the mountains of Madagascar, it's banned in the U.S. And if you shall use this herb, it actually has healing modalities that will cure cancer. Like, that sounds great in a video, but the problem is people take that, like soursop, like the video I did on soursop. How many videos? Search soursop. You're going to find a thousand videos. Did you know soursop cures cancer and shrinks cancer cells? And if you use this, you will get rid of your cancer, and it's ten times more effective than chemotherapy and radiation. It sounds amazing. It sounds great. If you don't know what you're talking about, right? But the problem is people hear that. They just start buying soursop and drinking soursop tea. They never learned how to detox their body. They never learned how to cleanse properly. They don't know how to fast properly. They don't know what herbs in combination you should be using with that soursop. They don't know. It's just, I'm going to eat soursop for lunch and a steak for dinner. And I'm going to eat bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich for breakfast. But I made sure I got my sour soursop in today, two months later. Why is my cancer getting worse? Why is my tumor growing? This video said that soursop shrinks tumors. Because there's more to it. This is why I started my university. Because <laughs> too many people acting like they know something to get some followers and views. Got very minimal, if any, testimonials. But they getting hundreds of thousands of views on their video. So you just believe that they're right, right? Right? Free game. Yeah, the asthma protocol is to for any respiratory any issues with your lung and respiratory system. So you would follow that. Yes. Let me take this off so I can see. What other questions do I got? Comments and questions. 
Comment some questions. Something that's great for asthma also is uh, Spanish moss. A lot of people talk about sea moss, but not a lot of people talk about Spanish moss. Spanish moss is great for, for asthma and respiratory issues. So there's a park I go to out here in Miami. It's Spanish moss everywhere growing on the, on the trees. A lot of you use it for uh, like decorations, like a lot of like malls and stuff that hang Spanish moss around like the door frame and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's actually great for respiratory issues for asthma. On top of that, you can use mullein leaf, fennel greek. I've been giving y'all too much free game. I've been giving y'all too much free game. I love your channel. I appreciate it. What can help with breast cancer? Uh, if you just joined, again, I get these DMs. Y'all can imagine... I get DMs all day, every day. What to do for cancer? My mom's cancer. I just got diagnosed with cancer. I just got diagnosed with herpes. What do I do? HSV, HSV, HSV. My main thing is HSV, herpes. So be careful who you're dealing with because I'll be honest with you, it's the most pleasant. It's the most, and again, it's not to judge anyone. It's just the facts. It's the most pleasant looking, the most non ho -ish, Chicks, the most well-dressed, snazzy-looking fellas. It's the chick that you that I would 100% slide in your DM. The bad chicks, the damn she look goods, the or it's either the damn she look good or the oh she looks like a really nice like she looks like she probably don't even she just stays in the house and plays video games like you know type chick that DM me all day every day about having herpes and what can I do? So I say that to say, be careful. Don't let your brain take over your penis and go wildin'. Same thing for the women. Don't let your brain take over your, your urges and go wildin' and go set on something without thinking it through first, you know? Because even if you got a condom that does not protect you against HSV2, I hate to break it to you. And then most people ain't out here giving head with a condom. So if someone got something going on in their mouth and then they give you some head without a condom, which is very common. It's kind of weird to get hit with a condom. I'll pass. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's going to cause you to have genital, which is HSV2. So now that person's HSV1 gave you HSV2, but you thought, oh, I'm not having intercourse. I'm not, we're not having sex. I'm just getting hit, so I'll be safe. No. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Somebody comment, free game. Yeah, I'll pass. If it's like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm about to give you some bomb head. But you got to put a condom on. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I shouldn't have been in this situation anyways. <laughs> I joke, but this be serious stuff, though. Free game. Some people need these talks. I have a lot of young people who follow me. Right? A lot of y'all here might be 14, 15, 16. Y'all might have just lost your virginity. You might have just got your first blowski. You know, you might have. And your mom, your brother, your dad, you might not have a role model. Like, I didn't have role models growing up. And I'm going to keep it real when no one else will. You know? You know? You're eating melon. You said it was bad for you. Deflex O2. You do not pay attention. This is exactly why I yell, pay attention to most of my videos. I post a video. Don't eat watermelon if you have HSV. The video starts. Watermelon's unhealthy, even if it has black seeds, if you have HSV. Every comment. What? You said watermelon was amazing. Oh my goodness. Dr. Shabby said watermelon was amazing. Didn't you just make a video about how amazing watermelon is? Wasn't you just eating watermelon on your lab every day? How's it unhealthy now? You don't pay attention. You just comment. You just scroll. On, click. What don't you say? Oh my goodness. I can't have anything. I hate your face. I guess I'll eat rocks and grass. You don't pay attention. And I won't enable you. I'm not going to go in the comments and say, no, you don't understand. What I said was, what I meant was, pay attention. Rewatch the video until you get it. Because you don't pay attention. All right? To the free game. 
And then somebody will be like, somebody will be like, HSV's herpes. And then somebody will be like, yeah, what he meant was this, but he should have said it like this. <laughs> I love how people come on and tell me how I should have said, you should have structured the video in the sentence like this. No, what I should have done is not taken time out of my wonderful day, set up my phone, made sure my phone was charged, gathered the knowledge, <laughs> made sure my lighting was good, pressed record, edited the video, posted the video, put a little tune in the background to make it stand out a little bit more, and posted the free information to help you and just let you keep walking around and eating watermelon while you have herpes, thinking that you're doing something healthy. I could have just did that, right? <laughs> I give out free game and people tell me, you should have did it like this. No, I should have just not helped you. How about that? Would that have been better? <laughs> Crazy, right? Crazy world. People be super entitled. I could have just solved this whole thing and never made the video and you would have been walking around thinking you know something and doing the wrong thing for the rest of your life. You know? I knew a guy who lost his virginity at 45 and caught an STD during that experience. Wow. Well, to that, I don't know what to say. That sucks. All I can say is, that sucks. It does, but that's, hey, you never know. I'm telling you. You never know. And y'all know I do tea work after dark. Sometimes I ain't did it in a while, but I tell y'all, you know, I was going through my wild out stage. You know, I first got popping, started getting some money. I'm living in Hollywood. I'm living alone for the first time. I was married for eight years. I'm single. I was wilding a little bit. I had some shorties come through. I had some highly experienced. <laughs> You know, well-versed people come to the crib. I was probably moving sloppy. And there was two occasions where after the fact, I was super, super, super scared. But luckily, I ain't have nothing. One of them I slept with. I told this story before. I ain't told it in a while. But I had a chick over the crib. You know, it's midnight. Can I come through? And then you think I could come through? I'd love to come through right now. I ain't doing nothing. I'm thinking with my brain. <laughs> I ain't thinking, sorry, I'm thinking with my with my thing, not my brain. You know, it's late, late night, straight fight. So I'm like, sure, come on through. Pleasant, well spoken, nice and clean looking. Smooth, smell good, don't look like a, doesn't present herself as a get around type of chick on IG, you know, all that. I'm like, you know what, come through. Still, wear a condom though, but not for a hit, cause that's whack, right? Who does that? So I let that process proceed. And then we have our intercourse. Fire, it was some fire. I ain't gonna lie, it was some fire. It was some fire. It was some, it was some fire. All right? And then, for her, it was some fire too. So next night, she said, can I come do it again? Yes, you can, right? <laughs> Second night, getting all riled up. I'm like, yo, I already know this is fire. It's joy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I can't wait for you to come back. You was doing all types of crazy things, right? Amazing, tremendous, delicious, delectable, delightful, right? Only for this time as I'm, you know, fully ready to get up in that thing, for her to stop me and say, uh, uh I just, I just want to, um, I want to be super honest with you and transparent and, you know, I know I came over last night and it was really good and obviously that's where I'm back and, you know, this could be a consistent thing and... Uh, I just want to let you know because I like to be super transparent and honest and upfront the second night that I'm back. And I actually have herpes. Oh.
this right before I'm about to put it on after last night was fire and then I'm fully ready to rock right now and as soon as she said that I said like my heart my soul and I'm like you came over you know who I am you know I'm a holistic guy you know what I'm about when you put me at risk at all people of all people like, you know, you came over with the same, but oh, I love all your videos. You're so smart and intelligent. Can I come over and have some CMOS juice and maybe we can watch some What the Hell on Netflix? Yeah, sure. Come on over. Right? I know it's not what you're, why, you're not coming over at midnight in your lingerie at one in the morning to watch What the Hell and talk about CMOS juice. Right? But we can pretend to act like that, right? <laughs> I've been mean, keeping it too real with y'all. I told this story before. But yeah, came over the first night, bang. Nothing said second night. Oh, I want to be super upfront and straightforward. I've heard this. Next few weeks to a month, because again, it depends on your body if it's going to react and things like that. It's very intricate to break down. But so it could have happened uh, two days or a month from now. So for a whole month, I'm like, oh my goodness, there's no way I'm about to be. I can't. My life is over. My life is over. Well, no, it's not because I know what to do to get rid of it, but I don't want to. Use myself as a test dummy, right? And uh, yeah, so I went get my lab work done like a week later, a month later, get it done again, a month later, get it done again. Clean, good. I posted my results actually when I told this story before. And uh, yeah, I tell these stories because these are very important for some of y'all out here that's, you know, going through a phase where maybe you fresh out of a relationship or marriage or maybe you're young and you're just wilding out. Don't take anything at face value. Don't let a woman, a man, sweet talk you. Um, just be careful. Be as careful. Like everybody say, yeah, I'm going to be careful. But are you really being careful? Are you really, before she comes over now, saying, um, well, listen, I know you've been sending, I know you've been sending me some explicit content, playing with yourself and stuff. So I pretty know, much know what time it is when you come through. So for that, with that being said, I need you to, before you come through, present me with your document of your of your panel, your full panel, your STD scans. I need it, and it can't just be, because most of the times you don't know, most of y'all don't know that when you go get blood, some of y'all think when you get blood work done, that's testing. I've had many people who come to me who think, yeah, I got my blood work done, and you think that's the same as getting tested for STDs. It's not. And then on top of that, you can purchase a standard STD test and it may not be screening you. In most cases, it's not screening you for HSV and HSV, HSV 1 and 2. You have to pay for the upgraded plan. It's maybe $300, $400 to get the full, the full panel done. Somebody comment free game. This is very important stuff, right? So, if you're feeling somebody like that, even if you're wilding out, then if you really want to protect yourself, y'all know me, I'm super honest and straightforward. I'll hit... You slide on my DM and I'm single at the time and I'm whatever. You looking like something I'm interested in for the night. You know, okay, cool. Where you stay? Oh, you right at the bar? Okay, cool. Or you in town? Cool. I stay here. Blah, blah. Well, listen, um, that's all great and all, but I know you've been super flirty and chatty patty and sending nudes and stuff. So therefore, I don't want to assume, but in the instance that we were to vibe well, and have a good connection, you know, I would really only want you coming through if you can provide these results. And some people will get offended. Don't think I'm 10 for 10 on that pitch, right? <laughs> but I'm clean and I'm safe. So I'm not 10 for 10. It's going to be a good, it might be a good 560, but... <laughs> I'm clean. Well, I can't believe you would even ask me that, or I can't even you believe you'd assume that you were gonna get a piece of this ass, even though I've been sending you nothing but news. I can't believe that, and you've offended me, and now I want nothing to do with you. So that's great. Like Friday, you win some, you lose some, but you live. You live to fight another day. So I would rather lose that than to gain AIDS, right? Can I get a hell yeah in the chat? Can I get, I would rather lose missing out on 
again, this is if you're like, you know, I don't know. I feel like everybody maybe goes through like a little wild out stage, some later than others. You're better off missing out on knocking down your favorite porn star or IG model or whatever, IG dudes for the women, than to, and you lost that, than to deal with that person only to realize that they gave you herpes and AIDS, right? I think that's, that's good, right? I think that's good, right? Whatever. On to the next. But, like I said, for me personally, shit, up until, what, I'm 31 now? Up until I was like 28, I only dealt with, what, like three people? Which I was, my wife, I was with eight years, and two serious relationships after that. That was it. Right? I never went through that, like, wild out stage. I never went to party, never club, never did any of that stuff, right? But, you know, I... What, I got 20, 29, got out first time living alone, not in a relationship, living in Hollywood, California, I'm a little popping now, I got some money, it's different types of chicks in my DM, just is what it is, right, it is what it is, I'm a decent looking dude, I never struggled in that, but for those of all that know, when you get a certain level of what's perceived to be popularity or income, a different type and level of woman is more assertive towards you. Just as what it is, right? So I went through that stage of like, oh, you know, shit, come through, yeah, come through, yeah, 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 you know, maybe like good 5'10", good 5'10", and then that's when I was like, hold up, slow your roll. I've had a couple scares during this process. On top of that, what am I doing? I got all these people knowing where I live. Even though I stay well armed and, you know, so <laughs> I tell you these stories for full transparency so you can move smarter. All right. You can move smarter and understand no one's perfect, but do your best. It's very important because your health is very important. And some of these issues y'all get, the doctor's going to tell you you're stuck with for a lifetime. You can come to me and I'll help you, assist you, get you right. But you might want to. You might want to uh, avoid the issue all in all. Somebody says, Paul, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Paul? What was Paul's worthy? I didn't think I said anything Paul's worthy. Maybe I did. Who cares? Who cares? Mm. Almost choked on the seat. Paul's. <laughs> that was a good one, right? No? For those of y'all that play that game, you got great content. Slim, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, somebody comment free game. I like going live because I never I never know what, what subject we're gonna go on. I just I just get in here and talk. Sometimes I share more than I should. But it's better than being fake and like most people, especially people with that get a big following and think they're famous, they're no longer real and everything's perfect and da da. I'm always going I'm always gonna be me. I'm always gonna be me, baby. Never, 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 never change. I never change. This is tea every day. Mmm. Delicious. Always keep it real. Always keep it real. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Am I single? Eh. It's complicated. No, I'm not single. I'm not single. We have very open communication. I'll say that. Very open communication. The more open and honest you are with your person you're dealing with, the less likelihood of having issues and drama. So always be clear, communicate, even if it ain't the most popular thing to say or you feel like it's going to offend them or what they may say may offend you. You should rather them tell you the truth, be honest, and that's the best way to go about it. That's what I'll say on that. That's the best. Ain't nothing worse than walk around knowing that somebody could turn you into a liar, right? Because you lying. I ain't doing this. I'm doing this. I'm perfect. I'm, doing this. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. And then your woman or your man finds out you're not perfect, and it's going to create drama and an argument, right? And a fight. Versus, hey, babe, listen. 
I love you. I care about you. I'm passionate about you. I love every moment with you. You know, I'm a great person, blah, blah, blah. But in this area, I struggle. And I want to let you know I struggle. You say, well, what do you mean you struggle in that area? Well, this is why, this is how, and I want to get better at that for you. And it's going to help us if you notice up front versus you finding out down the line. So I'm going to tell you, dip, 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 dip. Hopefully you understand. If not, I get it. If they do, then now you can move forward and you have less friction moving forward. Free game. Let me give you all some relationship advice too. Get some relationship advice too. I love your content, but I'm confused. What are you confused about? Yeah, we all have flaws. Nobody's perfect. You go into a relationship, you're never going to meet someone that's perfect for you in the perfect situation at the perfect time. So it's going to be like, ah, oh, the time is off because I'm traveling not right, not a, lot, a lot now. Or the time is off because I got a one-year-old or I just gave birth to it. Like, it could be anything, right? It could be anything. It's never going to be perfect. Or this is great. We have such a great connection only to find out you... That person may have something like, you know, it could be literally anything. So communicate. Don't be like the woman who tricked me <laughs> and said, I'm going to come over and be super honest and upfront with you and have intercourse with you only to the next night. Tell me that you have herpes and have me in fear for my health. Right. You got to be honest and upfront. Because otherwise you're going to make somebody want to want to strangle you and that's not good. Right. <laughs> I mean, shit. I'm. No, never mind. <laughs> I'll be saying too much. <laughs> I'll be saying too much. Uh, where can you buy watermelon with the seeds? I'm in Florida. It's easy to find them in, in Florida. Yes, be safe. Be safe. What happens if you get herpes? Don't worry, I still love you. I don't judge you. I still love you and I don't judge you. Come to me and I got you. Trust me, I get an X, X actually I can show y'all my spread. I have a spreadsheet from when I used to do the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, which it cost more, it took too much of my time, honestly. That's why I came up with the university so that everybody could afford it. $29.99 per month. Detail protocols for every single illness and disease. Links in the bio. Um, but yeah, I used to have an application form where you had to fill out your name, number, what illness you're dealing with. Um, what else? Yeah. And what I got, like 3,000 plus applications in a few months. And I will say 80% of them was herpes and STDs. Uh, I'll say, I'll say 60% was herpes. I'll say... 15% if 60% was herpes, 15% cancer. I'm horrible at math. Let's say another 15% like diabetes, high blood pressure, and then like the other like maybe, I don't know, 2% is like random one-off things. But I say that to say most of them was herpes. Actually, here we go right here. Coaching out responses, here we go. Here we go. I'm not gonna show anybody, I'm gonna block out the emails. But y'all can see I have a spreadsheet of people who used to apply for my mentorship program. So I can go through the list of issues of what people are applying for my mentorship program for. Um, diabetes. Oh, a lot of anxiety too. Diabetes, anxiety, anxiety. Um, arthritis. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Diabetes. Diabetes, diabetes. HSV. HSV1. HSV also weight loss. HSV2, HSV2, herpes, herpes, high blood pressure, hormonal imbalance, extreme weight loss, fibroids, lupus, diabetes, 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 cancer, HSV1, herpes, HSV2, diabetes, and yeah, anxiety, anxiety, diabetes, diabetes. So actually, it's a lot of diabetes, actually. Also, okay, a HIV, AIDS. High blood pressure, herpes, herpes, AIDS again. It was actually more AIDS than I expected. I'm going over like applications of what people message me and apply for me to help them with their. So 
So it gives you an idea of like what are the most common things out there. Um, but this is why I started my university. You know, I joke a lot, but in a university, very serious. Uh, you get access to the private Telegram group to speak to me daily, and I answer questions in there daily. I do a weekly Zoom call, video consultation with my members every single week. So you can speak to me personally. You can turn your video on, turn your audio on. We have a full conversation, 20 plus hours worth of content taking you from beginner to expert on holistic health and in detail protocols for every single illness and disease. In there, if for any instance, something you're dealing with, there isn't a protocol for it, which is very unlikely, but if there isn't, then you comment that in a Telegram group, I take note of that and I make sure there's a detailed protocol for your illness within a week or so, it'll be up in the university. That's how I do it. That way all my members of the Holistic Health University have answers to their questions and have something to follow to help improve their health. All right, and on top of that, you get my $70 Ultimate Alkaline Detox Bundle for free when you join the university. The university is $29.99 per month. It's only a dollar per day for you to invest in your health and have a place to go if you or someone you know is dealing with the illness or issue. That's what it's about. Uh, you get access to the Telegram group once you join the university. The second video in there is a tutorial showing you how to join the private Telegram group. Uh, links in the bio. Click the link in my bio, the link tree link. It will be a drop down. The very first one says Holistic Health University. You put your card in, you sign up, you, it says create account, you create your login, you instantly have access to all the protocols, everything. So you have a place to go. Even if you're not dealing with something, if down the line, your mom, your kid, you come up with something, a flu, anything at all, an illness, STD, whatever, you know, all right, I don't have to panic as much. I go to this module for that. That's the point of it. And to make sure more and more people are educated and know how to diagnose themselves without having to run to the doctor and hospital and know how to get rid of illnesses also. Let's see. Uh, Y'all have any questions? Any questions? I've been on here like, what, like an hour? Any other questions? I'm just on here. I just landed back from DR. Was out there getting two new Airbnb properties. Um, just came back. First thing, I was like, I want to get home to that watermelon in my fridge. Free game, T Walk. Yup, you already know I'm always giving out the free game. You know that. How do you know if you got herpes? I mean, if you're, are you assuming you have her? I mean, most cases when you have herpes, when you first can, when you first get it, you're typically going to have an outbreak. You're typically going to get sick, like flu-like symptoms. Also, the outbreak will be a cluster of bumps, which then turn into like boil out into like pus, and then they have to dry up and scab away until you're good to go again. But yeah, I mean, but. You want to go to the doctor, get your lab work done, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have it because you need to make sure that they tell you your levels. If you're above a 0 0.9, then you are considered positive. So a lot of us, 99% of people have it in our body. If you go get blood work done, you may be at 0.2% in your blood work. If you really, if they really give you your lab work back and you really look at it, which most people don't, and you go to the category that says HSV, it may say 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Because 99% of us, of us have it in our body. Once it gets above that 0 0.9 level, that's when you start having outbreaks, you're contagious, and things like that. But it's very tricky. That's why I made the herpes protocol so detailed and, uh, and powerful and potent. The protocol I put together because that's the hardest thing to combat and it's so tricky because I know people who have been tested many, many times and they are 100% positive, high levels, maybe like a 10, 7, 10s, way above 0 0.9. The doctors tell them you have it, you have to move different now. They've never had an outbreak, they've never had any symptom in their life. So it's different based on your, it's genes definitely play a part, right? How powerful your genes are, um, 
diet, obviously, obviously. And, you know, everyone reacts to it different, so. Uh, the asthma protocols in the university. How is alkaline vegan just vegan? Oh, what's the difference? Vegans eat any and everything that isn't eggs, cheese, and meat pretty much. Alkaline, plant-based, you don't just eat any and everything. You don't just go chewing on tofu and soy and impossible burgers and beyond meat and plant-based chicken nuggets in the freezer section of the grocery store and uh, what else? Vegan protein bars and all that stuff. It's a big difference, very big difference. Many vegans are very unhealthy. That is a fact. Many vegans know nothing about health. All they focus on is the health of animals. Many people are vegan because they care about animals, which is great, but it's like, how do you care so much about animals? And you could care less about your internal health and your grandma that's over there dying because she has no knowledge on internal health, right? Facts, yes, many vegans are very unhealthy. Let me say that again. So there's no confusion. Many vegans are very unhealthy. Many you don't eat meat and you don't eat egg and you don't eat cheese. And you eat nothing but hard to break down, hard to digest foods. Sorry, my phone froze. Yeah, you eat nothing but hard to break down, hard to digest foods. You eat nothing but soy, which damages your thyroid, causing fibroids. You eat nothing but foods that are Damaging your blood flow, clogging your arteries still. You're eating nothing but Ben and Jerry's vegan ice cream and things like that. That doesn't. Yes, meat is very bad for you also. Sounds like you need to go through and watch some of my videos. That's what it sounds like. Just because you don't eat meat does not mean you're healthy. Just because you don't eat meat does not mean that you are healthy. Thank you for explaining. Yeah, of course. Of course. 6,000 plus free videos online between here, my backup page, TikTok, YouTube. I've been recording for the last like, 10 years straight. So it's tons of free content. But if you really want to work with me and get these detailed protocols and need more assistance and are serious about learning this stuff, join the university. I'm about to scrape the rest of this watermelon and y'all see all the, all the juice on the plate. You know I can't, y'all know I can't, y'all know I can't let the, let all the, you know I can't let that. Mmm, delicious, delicious. Great for blood flow, circulation, Clogged arteries, erectile dysfunction. If I got, if I got my shorty coming through, I might, might give me a bowl of that so it can be some, so it can be some bomb, 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 bomb. You know what I mean? Very smart. If you' about to link up with somebody, don't go popping blue pills and all that. Just have you a bowl of watermelon if you feel you need extra assistance and you really want to go crazy and you want to be more erect than usual and you want the veins popping more than usual and all that stuff. So it can be a great experience for everybody. Get you some watermelon. Don't go throwing them weird harmful chemicals in your body. They damage the brain. The blue pill is very bad for your brain. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. But you gotta be careful, because sometimes you, drink, you consume too much watermelon or, or even the herbs we got, which is, even the herbs we got that we sell, the Love Strong, powerful combination of herbs for erectile dysfunction, testosterone, blood flow circulation. If you don't deal with these issues, it can still assist in having a powerful, passionate night. So don't go eating a bunch of watermelon like this. I just ate a lot of watermelon. 
and then say you was the consumerist on top of it. If you ain't got nothing lined up, because you're going to end up DMing people some weird stuff or something, right? You, <laughs> I don't want that for you, okay? Be careful in these streets. Be careful, all right? <laughs> What's the remedy? Let me see. For flu, uh, that's in the bundle. That's in the bundle. A little watermelon will do it, right? You know what's up? You know what's up? Let's see. Show to see greatest hits and watermelon got it. Hey, that's all you need. That's all you need. See, I'm type. I put on some, uh, some like different hurts and some meditation music, you know. Dim the lights, meditation music, put on some, put some lava lamps in the corner. You know what I mean? I'm like, hey, get some coconut oil, massage the booty. And... Anyways, it ain't dark yet. It's not T-Walk After Dark. We'll do that. I'll go, I'll go live late at night one night and bring back T-Walk After Dark. <laughs> Facts. Let me see. Yes, coconut oil is great for massages and great for the skin. Also, on the point of herpes, though, if you are using coconut oil, and let's say you was doing some sensual massages or whatever, if you and your partner have herpes or HSV, HSV2, you want to make sure that coconut oil does not get near the private areas. Because coconut oil is, creates high levels of citrulline and arginine in the body, which causes HSV to multiply and spread. Free game. Somebody comment free game. I'll be giving you too much free game. See, because you got to be careful because somebody make a video, this is healthy. But for your situation, it is not healthy. It's actually the opposite. All right? Free game, free game, free game. I give out too much. I give out too much. Careful with the coconut oil if you got herpes. And more than likely somebody in here does, which is fine. That's why I'm talking to you. That's why I'm talking to you. You know that. Mm-hmm. Free game everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't nobody give it to y'all like this. Don't nobody give it to y'all like this. It's crazy. If you want a video consultation with me? All you gotta do is join the university. You speak to me live every week. Sometimes when you eat the watermelon, I just feel like it's never gonna end, right? It's like no matter how much I get down into it, it's like more just keeps appearing. So I'm like, yo, like, how you just get eat get full off fruit? And like, yo, have you ever? Chopped the top off a coconut, drunk all the water, then ate all the all the flesh out of the coconut and a whole watermelon. Like, you will be full. One, one, one full coconut, and you chop the top off, drink the water, eat the insides out. It's about sixteen hundred calories. That's many of you all based, depending on your weight, that's many of you all's daily intake. You can literally live off of a coconut. You know that. If you're drinking it out the bottle, you know my phrase. If the coconut water ain't pink, don't drink. How to get rid of herpes. Links in the bio. Detailed protocol for that is in the Holistic Health University along with protocols for every single illness and disease. Uh, I see that comment about breastfeeding. I didn't see any other ones. I don't know what your question was. Breastfeeding, just off the top of my head. Uh, you shouldn't be detoxing if you're breastfeeding because if you are, the toxins that your body's getting rid of, the toxins have to come out somewhere. So it's going to come out through the breast milk and then you're going to feed that to your child. So you shouldn't be doing that. Same thing if you're pregnant currently. You shouldn't be doing any kind of detoxing or cleansing herbs because that's going to cause the toxins to build up in the amniotic fluid, which your child is consuming while in your stomach. So you never want to cleanse and detox when pregnant, when breastfeeding, uh, what else? Again, because I didn't see your question on breastfeeding, but I'm just giving you some off the top. Free game on breastfeeding. Let me see, I'm just going through comments right now. I'm on three platforms right now. Make sure to follow me on YouTube too. Name's the same, T Walked Off. 
YouTube.com slash T Walk Talk. Somebody says, I'm out. You're going to die. We're going to die sooner or later, either way. Eden style. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Yes, you're right. We we're all going to go out. Unfortunately, most people go out with a harmful, tragic, depressing death laid up in a nursing home, legs amputated, eyesight gone from diabetes, breast cut off from cancer, um, horrible surgeries laid up in a nursing home, hoping our grandchildren come visit us once every two months. So it would be smart for you to do everything you can not to spend the last 30 years of your life because you might live till 80, but who wants to live till 80 if from 60 to 80, it's super depressing and painful like that, which is the how it ends for majority of people. So I'm giving you an alternative to that so that you at least can give yourself the best fighting chance to avoid that end of existence, right? Yeah, my grandma, she ate KFC until she was 102. Yeah, but she been living with you sitting in that same chair since she was 75. So if I got to sit in the same chair watching soap operas all over on replay from 75 to 102 and I can't walk and do stuff on my own and I'm using the bathroom and a diaper and things like that, I'll pass on living an extra 20, 30 years. I would rather live until 75 and at 73 still be walking up and down the beach. You know what I mean? Shout out to London. Sometimes I drink vitamins because I can't get harmless while driving 18 wheelers. Well, I would have to know what type of vitamins because many vitamins are unhealthy because especially if you're drinking them, they're probably mixed with some weird ingredients, which is why I always tell you when you're grocery shopping, get freaky, hit that thing from the back, smack it, arch the back, put your face in it and look at that nutrition label because just because it looks good on the front, if you don't hit it from the back, you never know. It might got some toilet paper in the booty, which you don't want, which would be the unhelpful, un, <laughs> the harmful ingredients. Somebody says, damn, I forgot to unfollow this page. Keep y'all's head up. Well, I mean, let's be honest. This is important. It'd be the people like that who come on here and I can see by your profile picture. I've been doing this a long time. You're at least 40% body fat, which is unhealthy. So you shouldn't have unfollowed this page because that means that you're at higher risk for heart disease, high blood pressure, cancer, and diabetes, and you're black. So you're even at higher risk. So she probably doesn't hear this because she unfollowed, but she actually really needed this message. She needed someone to be super blunt and upfront with her. Uh, but if you're easily offended, my page ain't for you. It's not me making fun of somebody. Some of you need to look in the mirror and simply look in the mirror. Right? When I was unhealthy, when I was sick, when I was dumb, when I was broke, I looked in the mirror and said, I'm dumb, I'm sick, unhealthy, I'm broke. I know nothing about health. I know nothing about money. That way I could fix it. So the people who diss me and don't want to hear the information, I can simply look at your profile picture and see, even from this far away, without even clicking it up big, I can tell from here up, you're a good 40% body fat, which is not healthy. And if you have kids, you're shortening your kids' experience with you and you may end up leaving this earth before your parents and that's not good, right? It's not how it should be, that's not how it's meant to be, but you're not taking care of your health, which is a problem, right? You know, somebody comment, free game. Somebody comment, free game. Look in the mirror, take accountability. Y'all know my phrase, do what you gotta do, it's that simple. I don't believe in if, try, can't, almost, or maybe. I get it done. No excuses, nothing to it. But to do it, point your finger in the mirror if you blew it. Take accountability. Many of you haven't even taken the first step of taking accountability yet. Right? Let's be real. And instead, you will come on my live and talk, spew negative energy. And you need it more than most people. Right? Let's be real. Let's keep it real. Free game, free game, free game. If I eat fruits and vegetables and drink water, can I still be unhealthy? Well, I mean, that would depend on how long you weren't doing that. So yeah, you could, let's say you're, I don't know, I think I've seen by your profile picture, I'm a guess. 
I can't see as far away. I'm gonna say you're 20, 30 max, right? So let's say for 20 years, your mom fed you a certain way. You've been eating a certain way, McDonald's, trash food, hungry man meals, all that, after work, ramen noodles, all that stuff, right? And now for the last, say, two years, you've been eating fruits, vegetables, and water. Yes, you could still be unhealthy because you gotta understand, for 20 years, you ain't nothing but trash. So you need to go hard to cleanse your body and reset it. That's, see, a lot of people don't come to me with an illness. I got this, and I'll say, here's the protocol, and they'll follow it for a week. Man, I've been doing it for a week. Why don't I feel better? Well, it took you 25 years to develop that issue in your body, and you think you're just gonna knock it out and heal it and cure it and prevent it within a week or a month? No, you need to stick to this to work and pull it out of your body, all right? Because for 25 years, you ate fruit roll-ups and, and uh, smoked camel cigarettes, right? So, you know? Anyways, we're going on here like an hour. Giving y'all some free game. Links in the bio. Join the university. Y'all know what it is. Testimonials daily. Three years straight. I never miss a day. I got so many I've never posted. I, I might post them when I get off here. And, uh, yeah, I'll let y'all, those y'all that join the university, I look forward to speaking y'all in the Telegram group. Tonight, I'll be in there answering messages. And also, I'm going to be announcing this week's weekly Zoom call. So you can speak to me directly on video. And get, and get right. Uh, Elderberry's good. When says, what do I do about fibroids? Actually, when it comes to fibroids, that's actually the one thing. When it comes to fibroids, that's actually the one thing that is uh, like, how can I say it? How can I put this? When it comes to fibroids, that's the one thing I know nothing about. I'm lying. Detailed protocol for fibroids is in the university. I kid, I kid. Detailed protocol for every single illness and disease. Links in the bio. I'll holler at y'all later. I'm about to get a little messier with this watermelon and make sure I get each and every piece of it and nothing goes to waste. I'll holler at y'all in the university where I'm not censored, where I'm not banned, where I can say what I want, when I want, how I want, and, and, and continue to post these dramatic testimonials every day. For three years straight, I never miss a day. So if you're new to my page, you happen to come to the right one. This is not a game. This is Real Results Daily. Peace out. Peace out, TikTok. Follow me on YouTube too, by the way. Links in the bio. Or maybe it's not. YouTube.com slash T Walk Talks about the same. Peace. And should I answer one more question on here? Nah. Peace.